Top tip number two, keep your ISO low. ISO is the International Standard Organization measurement for how responsive your camera's sensor is to light. Keeping your ISO low means that you have a higher quality image. When you're shooting in bright light, this is not a problem, but if you're shooting in a darker situation, for example, inside or at nighttime, you will need to raise your ISO so that your sensor is more responsive to the light. As light enters the camera and affects the sensor, this is when an image is made. And if not enough light hits the sensor, you're going to get an underexposed image. So you'll need to raise your ISO. The quality can drop though when you've got a higher ISO, depending on your camera. If you're using a higher end modern DSLR, there's not such a problem. But if you're using a, a slightly older camera or a lower end model, or if you're shooting with your phone, you will start to notice there's digital noise in your images and that the contrast is lower and the color is flat and dull at higher ISO settings. So it pays to keep it as low as possible. Many new cameras have ISO that can be set to auto. I find this very frustrating as I like to make sure the technical quality of my images is as high as possible. And with the ISO set on auto, it can fluctuate and be raised higher than I want it to if it's not in my control. So I prefer to control it manually. And I always recommend people to turn the auto ISO setting off on their cameras. ISO is not something you need to change as frequently as the other two settings in the exposure triangle, your shutter speed and your aperture setting, but it's good to have an understanding of when you need to raise it and also how far or how high you can raise it with the particular camera that you're using. And a good way to get a better understanding of this is to do some tests. Shoot a series of images first with your camera set at 100 ISO, and then raise it to maybe 600 or 800 ISO, and then again highest it can go, maybe that's 3200 or 6400 ISO. Have a look at the series of photographs that you've made, compare them side by side on your computer, and you'll notice the difference in quality. The images shot at a lower ISO will be better quality. As you become more experienced on shooting in manual mode, the ISO setting will become second nature to you and you won't have to think about it so much. And you will be more creative with your camera. <laughs>